It's huge. Come on. Quiet. We got a sow with two cubs right there. Oh, Right there. Now we've got eight. We're surrounded. Strangers with nothing in common together by a six-foot cable and forced to work together to reach rescue. I'm done. Can they survive the elements? Can they survive each other? Oh. This is a survival challenge like no other. Send me home. Come on! Someone take this off! I'm Henry Lamelli. I'm 47 years old from Chico, California. I'm a wildlife biologist for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. I tend to be a little conservative, a little quiet, so I tend to want to avoid people that are really crude and vulgar. I'm Laura Thompson Nelson. I'm from upstate New York. I live in Plattsburgh, New York. I'm a volunteer weather observer for the National Weather Service. I'm definitely a wild child. I have a couple of tattoos. I have one here, I have one there. I am a free spirit. You know, I like to go to the rock shows and I like to jump around. Normal's kind of boring. When I was in the United States Air Force, a lot of people would complain about going to the Middle East or going to Panama or all these places. But to me, every one of them was an adventure. And I just really found that exciting. And now that I'm older and I've been out of the military for, gosh, almost 20 years, I haven't had an adventure a long time. It seems like when you get older, you don't do as much. So that's why I'm here. Henry and Laura are dropped on a remote island in Kodiak, Alaska, with only 10 days to reach rescue, left to survive in one of the highest concentrations of Kodiak brown bears in the world. They're bound across these nine foot tall, one ton apex predators, all while locked together by a six foot cable. That got me. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, what's your name? Henry. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Laura Nelson. Laura. <laughs> oh my gosh, so what do we gotta do here? We gotta get tethered. We gotta get tethered, okay. You sure you're ready for this? You know, it's starting to become real now. <laughs> we are officially tethered. So we gotta pick three things, right? Yeah. Let's see, what do we got? Magnesium bar. That's a good fire making implement. I would take I that. I say we go with that. That's a kukri. We need a cutting device. I agree. I say that's a good one. Okay. That's a coffee can with some netting. Do we want some kind of like pot device to uh, boil water? Yes. Okay, we got a bag. It's a bag for the pot. No. That's perfect. So we have our items. Okay. Blade and fire. And we got a can. Let's take a look at this uh, map. Let's see, what do we got to do? Henry and Laura must traverse 48 miles northwest toward the extraction point, marked by twin rock arches in the Pacific Ocean. Got all of our stuff? All right, let's Ready go. Here we go. How's the pace? Huh? How's the pace? Oh, good pace, good yeah. pace. This looks like animals galore living yeah. through here, like squirrels and whatnot. Some deer pellets. Oh, look at this. Massive bear track. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Back of the track is right here. Yeah, the foot's and the, the toes are in the front. Toes are up here. Yeah, that's really fresh. Right out of the chute, we're already realizing our risk of a serious bear encounter is very high. Oh, look at this. We got some bear scat. Could be the same bear that made that track. Yeah. Are you feeling for heat? Yeah. Is there no heat on it? That's from this morning. How can you tell? It's still a little bit warm. Oh, really? Wow. Well, that was a pretty big pile of uh, bear duty poo poo, you know? So um, I am for sure I'm more alert. I'm actually a little more nervous. I can feel a little anxiety in my chest. starting to rain. Did you hear that? What was that? That's a big bear. I'm a little nervous, but the only thing positive about this is she looked right at us, and she's keeping going. That was crazy. That was crazy. My boys, 
when they hear this story, they won't believe it. You want to look for a shelter? Yeah. Exhausted and concerned about their safety as night falls in bear territory, Henry and Laura opt to bed down for the evening. That bear's walking the bank scavenging, and if it doesn't find something to eat... You might want to eat us. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yeah. It needs to be like a foot by a foot. Yeah. So I think, I think we're fine with that. Good stuff. We have fire. First day out in the Alaskan wilderness. We had a rough start. You ready for some shut eye, Laura? Big time. Here's my thighs as a pillow. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's going to take some getting right. used to. We'll figure out a sleeping system. So you can use your walking stick. Does anybody like Devil's Club? Uh, the native Aleutic people, it's a very strong, strong medicine plant. It's also, they use it in a lot of rituals and sp spiritual ceremonies. It's How do you know all this about this plant? It's an interesting plant. It's got poisonous berries and, and toxic thorns, but yet there's a quality about it that can be useful. Oh, look at this. Where are we right now on this map? We're here. We have to make it to extraction. Oh my god. Can we even see that from here? Nope. It's over those mountains. Highest little peak the highest drops down into that valley. There. So we need to get from this island here to way over we there. Gotta cross that channel and it may be swimming. We got a long ways to go. We're gonna need to swim it tomorrow. Oh, I'm so exhausted. So this is day two. Laura and I have to figure out how we're going to get across the channel. We might have to build a raft. Did you just hear that shot? Yeah, what was that? What happened, John? Mom was moving close to us, so we wanted to make sure that she knew she couldn't come any closer. So the base camp of the film crew is just around the turn. They had a sow bear and her two cubs come into their camp. At, they were coming in, and they, they shot to scare her off, and, and luckily she responded. I'll definitely be sleeping with one eye open. Let's go. We have a lot of work in front of us. The water's too cold to make that swim unassisted without support. So we have to build some type of device to get us across this channel. There's all that green stuff over there. Yeah, that's great rope. Our plan is to utilize the large fishing debris that's floated into these coves. The stuff washed in with the tide. A lot of times a big storm will come through and washes up. Right now I'm leaning towards a, a small raft that'll keep our gear and our clothes dry and then swim it across quickly. So we'll have dry clothes to put on when we get to the other side. I like the looks of that. We can even do a double stack. The main thing is height. We can almost build a tower. Can we sit higher... on the tower? <laughs> we? <laughs> no, we. You're trying to think how you could get on a bench and have me tow you across. That's not going to happen. To reduce the distance of the swim, they wait for low tide in the morning. Ready? Yep. Trying to swim with this tether on is, is going to be, it's going to be difficult. Oh my god, this is cold. It's only up to my feet. I'm pretty nervous about this. I hope that wrap isn't too heavy. Oh, I honestly don't know what we're going to do How's if that? it capsizes. My How's legs are look? freezing to death, man. This How's is that? icy cold. If we climb on it because uh -huh, we get tired, it will it. sink and we'll lose everything. So let's go. Walk it yeah. out as far as we can. You could do this. Yep. OK? Mm-hmm. This, this is far. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Remember, OK, you're doing good. Ooh. Oh, my okay. god. Just breaststroke. That'll keep you warm. Don't hang on the raft. Just push it. OK, your swimming is going to keep you warm. OK, okay. this is hard. We need you got a long way to go. We need to turn it to the right a little bit. Oh, this is heavy. Heather's pretty heavy. Let it go. Just let it go. 
Nice, easy breath stroke. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hi. Right. Baby, can you push? I got it. Don't worry can about do it. Can I do this? You just. Can I do this? Yep. We're drifting. The tide's gone. I know. OK, hold on. I'm going to turn the raft. Are you holding on the raft? Uh, no, don't push on the raft. I'm not pushing on. Your tether's pulling okay. down the raft. How much further? We're past the halfway point. OK. There's no turn okay. back. Uh, Oops. That's the tether. Oh, my God. Keep going. Ah. Oh. Are we close? How much further, Henry? Just OK. There you go. OK. Let me just cut off. I got it. He's standing up. Go ahead. Hold on my back. You're done. Come on, Henry. Can't go without me. We did it. Head to the sun. We did it. Right here, sit in the sun. All you have to do now is put on some dry clothes when we're ready. If I wasn't tethered to Henry, I probably would have died. You know, I could hear his voice telling me to calm down, keeping me focused, you know? And I think I'm in shock that I actually did it. After enduring the difficult crossing, Henry and Laura set up camp for the night, prepping for an 11-mile push toward rescue. Good night, Laura. Good night. We're on a new island where the bear densities are even higher. So we're probably going to have some close encounters with these large Kodiak bears. Let's get going. We've got a long ways to go. Henry and Laura still have 37 miles to reach the rocky arches that mark rescue. Desperate for food, they're heading toward a salmon-filled stream in hopes of landing dinner for the night. This looks like it might be an inlet. I see water coming in right there. Yeah. See it? Yeah, yeah. That's where the creek comes into the cove. That creek leads us up to our extraction. See that waterfall? There's a salmon that just jumped there. You can see? I want to see where. They're trying to the get rock. up the waterfall. <laughs> Look, right there. Oh, my God. That's a big You can see it better. Get down. I'll just hold up right here for a minute. He's got a salmon. Is that a different one? That's another one. We need to get out of this area. There's way too many bears. Seriously, let's go. It's dangerous out here. My heart's pumping. We're going to have to uh, camp back. Backtrack out of here? Yeah. It was a little bit of a disappointing day that we couldn't get farther. That was kind of a bummer. Our bodies are pretty shot. To expend that kind of energy and burn those calories, just to have to backtrack, it's tough. My brother made me a bracelet. She said that he made it with what's called a zipper stitch. For every foot that I pull out, there's two feet of line coming off of the stitching. This is going to make plenty of fishing line to catch a salmon. Laura, we're going to make a hook out of your hairpin. That is strong enough to hold a salmon. Oh, boy. We're ready to fish. Today, I'm going to catch a fish. I think I'm getting to the point where you know, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm ready to fight the bears for the salmon. You're going to toss it right up into there. Just kind of swing it around and give it a fling Just out like there. you're swinging in a circle? Uh-huh. I'll look for bears. Let it sink and just start pulling it through, hand over hand, a little faster. You getting the hang of it? Yep. Hold on, we got a bear. Go up. Go back up. Go up. Don't run, just go up there. Go up, go up. Push, I'm trying. Push me. Oh my God. Just stay calm. <sighs> bears everywhere now. Oh my God. Numerous bears coming and going, catching fish left and right. I mean, I wish I was like a couple thousand pounds and full of hair. I'd go in there too and get them, you know? There's a lot of salmon here. I'm gonna keep going until it's done. They're going away right now, that's good. Thank God they're leaving. We're out of the immediate danger of the bears. Try and do this as quickly as possible. Buying for the same food source as the Kodiak Browns, Laura is determined to land a salmon and willing to risk it all. Yep. 
Okay, easy. Ow, help me. I got you. I got you. Relax. Give me back. Okay, yeah, you got him. Help Pull me. it in. Pull it in. Help me. Come on. Pull. I'm trying to get it. Beat it with a rock. Right here. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. We got him. Oh, my God. Get it. We have dinner tonight. Oh, my God. I caught a fish. Uh -huh. I caught a fish. Yes. I caught a fish. I'm uh -huh. super water today. I'm really impressed with myself. I would have taken a smaller one. I wouldn't complain, but <laughs> this will do. I'm happy. Uh, woo! Woo! <laughs> we need to get out of here. Let's go feast. My stomach beckons. Your fish going on the rock. Hot rock method. We're eating the salmon I caught. Check that out. It's almost unbelievable. That fish is cooking nicely. Look at that. Yes. First bite of meat. Now oh, this tastes so good. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a restaurant. Your body's happy. No, I'm so f happy. Mmm. But to take the most direct route, they'll have to get across the salmon-filled river. Let's keep it down. We don't want to surprise anything. Some of the most intense bear country in the world. Laura, did you see it? Uh -huh. It's huge. Come on. Quiet. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that thing. Whatever you do, don't bang that pot. I want to get past this bear. Uh-oh. We got a sow with two cubs right there. Just stay calm. Just stay calm. Don't look at him in the eyes. Come here. Look. Is that a different one? That's a different one. She's right there. Right there. Gosh, I have to, I have to eat. Don't threaten them. Don't make eat. direct eye contact. Just kind of look down. Ponds with the babies are the worst. Seven bears in one location. Look. That makes, does that make eight? Now we've got eight. We're surrounded. We got a sow and two cubs here. We got a sow and two cubs there. We got a huge boar right there. It's too dangerous. It's a suicide mission. We've just It'd seen be a eight bears to sit here. in the last five minutes. Let's back out of here. Okay, let's go. Little minor setback. We were hoping to make it a little farther to ex the extraction point. Ran into a bunch of bears and it got a little bit sketchy. So we had to turn back. I'm trying to get to extraction. Keep up, Henry. Fast as you want to go, I'll keep up. Oh my god. Under the arches. Yes! yes. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. The arches. Oh my god, Henry. We made it. Oh my god. the hardest damn thing I've ever done in my whole life. Mentally, physically, it feels like a roller coaster the whole time, but I think I ended on a high, so that's what I'm really proud of myself for. Let me do you now. I came out here to prove something to myself and my husband, and I think he's gonna be in shock. After this, everything will seem easy. Yes. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I hate that damn tether. I'm so excited that this tether is off of me. All I want to do is go take a hot shower, eat a full meal. No more getting tugged and pulled. You notice I'm keeping my distance? <laughs> I'm proud of myself because I came up here to do something that I that I took on upon myself as a personal challenge. And, and I met it head on. And I think I was a great partner. I'm really proud of you, Laura. I'm proud of you, too. I'm glad we made it together. That was great. <laughs> I think she wears her heart on her sleeve, something that I don't do. So it was interesting and, and you know, I learned a lot from Maura. I made it rough on you, didn't I? The whole situation made it rough. The tether was an element that I was not prepared for. Hugs. Ah! 